why we getting sick we all forgotten about it yes you know that is sometimes you know the diet and lifestyle and wrong choices we make and is that true or some more thing to do and i think according to my experience last 25 years seeing patients we are getting sick because we use unnecessary pharmaceutical drugs and that is the main cause of the illness yes there are some benefits from that uh, pharmaceutical medicine but mostly unnecessary use of the uh, pharmaceutical drug can cause you lot harm to your body and we have to identify what are those uh, medicine and how we going to prevent from make ourselves ill when you think about the um, why we getting ill most of the time people say because of the pathogens bacteria and virus or something we have eaten uh, food poisoning or some kind of things we are you know doing like wrong lifestyle choices and that make us ill and when your body is ill what are the indication your body is giving to you uh, having temp my temperature goes up i feel pain i feel discomfort and a uh, little bit somewhere inflammation and these are the indicators we have in our body to tell you you are not good you are getting ill can you have a little bit rest can you please do something about it? It's just like a car. If you, if you have, if you're using your car, you have temperature gauge coming up, and then uh, oil lights comes up, and then you know your car is inadequate of something. You had to use that unless that until that you can't drive your car. That is the common sense, and same common sense we have with our body. When the inflammation comes, when the fever comes, when the uh, discomfort and pain comes, we have to just think and relax and see what is the cause of this problem and how can I fix it. Instead of that, what you're taking is almighty pharmaceutical drug called paracetamol. Maybe this one also taken down from the YouTube, I don't care. And widely used for infants to adult in this world is paracetamol. We just go and see why, what paracetamol does to your body. When you take the paracetamol, is three things happen. What is it? Reduce the fever, reduce the pain, and reduce the inflammation. These are the protective mechanism of our body and telling you the you live very hot, you have painful, you have inflammation. And then, anyhow, this is like masking by this medication we take fever is normally coming to us to uh, as a protective mechanism if the pathogens growing in our body the body's normal mechanism is give the indication to hypothalamus to bring the temperature a little bit up and kill the bacteria kill the virus and pathogens and uh, make your digestion a little bit calm and stay calm and that is the fever and fever uh, uh, run its course through your body and then you can get rid of all the pathogens that's what the fever, fever for the and the pain pain why the pain is then you know if you have pain headache back pain leg pain and it is something is like uh, giving you you're not right you know you have to do something and instead of that you take the painkiller and mask that problem and it's not going to sort your problems out and then inflammation is the same thing. And if you knock your hand somewhere and it's a little bit inflammation coming, you're not going to knock again because, you know, because they, you can have pain and then the, uh, you're protecting itself. And inflammation, same thing in the body and it is like protective mechanism. You know, you have to protect that area, protect that place until it's healed. And this is, is a normal mechanism of the body. What is paracetamol doing? When you are taken the paracetamol, when you have flu or inflammation, pain in a body, what happen is it gives a signal to hypothalamus to calm your temperature. And then it is not the body's reaction. It is like we take and body's control to our hand. 
and then we give the false information to the hypothalamus in a way it is like a break the indicator and then six hour early or four hour early you have to take the paracetamol it is making the temperature always in some level it is not going up and always you take in the six hour early paracetamol and that means what happened is the pathogens in your body what happened to your pathogens because the temperature not reaching to the maximum level it is making the breeding ground to your um, you know your bacteria or virus you know and i have seen so many uh, uh, women come to us with urine infection six hours early they take the paracetamol and take antibiotic and for a while is fine and again the pathogens present because why this body is not reaching to the temperature it should reach to kill the virus or bacteria and that means then the, you have to take hundreds of antibiotic you have to take hundreds of uh, painkillers you have to do hundreds of paracetamol still the problem is still there because the breeding ground for the bacteria virus is going to be there and that means you know without the the temperature run through its course bacteria virus is not going to kill itself yes antibiotics some antibiotics works but most of the time the bacteria come into resistance as well and that means you can't kill the bacteria and then second thing is when you have the paracetamol and then it is going to your again hypothalamus produce some kind of um, uh, secretion to really use the prostaglandin what is the prostaglandin prostaglandin is a substance to cause the pain prostaglandin is there to do some things in your body one is is inflammation uh, reducing and inducing pain is protecting the place and same time is helping the blood clotting and helping the smooth muscle to be a little bit relaxed and that means digestive fire is reducing and then all the digestive system is not over secreted and that means they look after all your smooth muscles and secretion inside the body and that means you don't feel hungry until you get rid of the bacteria virus or any cause of the disorder it will protect your digestive tract is protected it's the healing power prostaglandin is the healing power in the body and the paracetamol what it does is reducing the prostaglandin because it causes pain it should cause the pain because the pain is there for some reason to body to heal and then we have to see now what happening to us we just break the gauges the the which indicate us you are not good you are sick you have temperature you have bacteria and instead of face up to that and act on it what we're doing is a with these pharmaceutical drugs we, we we take the control of the body to our hand and break our machine and break all the indicators and what happened then we we feel like we flew we have two paracetamol the nicely uh, uh, the bacteria virus is breeding inside the body we go to work and we do something we just uh, having our boogie and then same times you know like it's act into a prostaglandin and then it's no pain and then you eat anything you want because why digestive juices secretion is the same and it's not having a protecting mechanism and then you it's becoming toxins and then whole thing whole body's mechanism you take into your hand and then 50 years the since the we identify as paracetamol to now the 50 years what we have done to our body is giving the false information about we are good but are we no we are sick instead of take action to the sickness what we did was take all the gauges temperature gauge this gauge and we broke this and then we have to face up the consequences what are the consequences we getting sick all the time because we eating without uh, having to consider about my body is sick and I had a little bit eat some good food and my body is sick and a little bit take a time and uh, this is fever until it's run through my course and take a rest and instead of doing that we just take another path and that means 
we get in sick in a vertebrae. And it is the way we are fighting with all viruses and bacteria and all the pathogens because of that. Because we, we can't listen to body anymore. Our body and mind, the intelligence of the, this machine, we broke. We breaking, you know, with the, all the other drugs we're taking. And body is a natural healer. You have to give a little bit of break to our body, a little bit of break to our mind to heal. Little story, my grandmother, when she was um, old, I was doing A-levels, then I feel like I'm doing science. I know all thing about, you know, to be a doctor or something. And then my grandmother uh, took the fast, two fastimol, somebody given to her, and she came and asked me, she never had the medicine before, is that a poison? And then my mind, I'm like a doctor, act like a doctor. I said, no, this happened. This is really unbelievably good medicine for you and take this and this is the action. This, and I feel like I didn't. I mesmerized to say to her, this is not a poison, but in her mind, she knew it a poison. And I don't know she taken or not. But the thing is, that's what the 50 years ago people, 20 years ago people had. And when you are taking the medicine to your hand and they say, oh my God, this is poison. Now what's happened? It's like a, more than uh, the food. They're eating medicine. And medicine becoming their food. Food becoming their nothing. You know, because it's a food is going out of the um, equation because you don't see food as a medicine and you see the these pharmaceutical drugs as a medicine and as a uh, curing anything I, I'm not saying it's not curing everything but unnecessary use of this and it's make ourselves ill and next time you know when you take some this kind of chemical to your hand and see what is doing to our body actually do I need that and do I have an, any other way to sort it out my problem? And can I take a precautions like changing my lifestyle, changing my diet and have the natural uh, remedies for that? And if you can do that, at least as a nation, as a, you, the, the humanity, we are getting better. We don't have to face up to this kind of disaster again. You know, and because we have to take our own right to our body and increase our immunity and have a good food and think about, you know, logically, instead of uh, paracetamol, you can take natural remedy like coriander. Coriander have uh, two actions, it's diuretic and cooling. And this, this cooling mean, you know, this, if you have a bowl of water, hot water, when you put cold water and you can see the sweating and fumes comes and you know then after that sometime later it is becoming like cooler and oh um, temperature gone down it is feeling like balanced um, uh, environment and that is the coriander does coriander has that cooling effect and then it is if you dr uh, boil the coriander and drink it and it is has same kind of effect not doing any harm to your body and then it is going to the digestion it is it is not like straight away to the blood level it is going to digestion it is going to your body and it is act like a food and then what happened is at that point you know like because coriander has the ushnaviri kind of heat and cold both when you have the coriander you can see you know when you drink it you can feel like your temperature very much going up and you sweat and you feel cold and you know you sweat it out all thing and at that point body reached to some maximum level of temperature and cooling down and then what happened at that certain point kill some form of pathogens and again this action is is similar to pa pasteurization milk and stuff you know like undergo with the pasteurization and that means you put it um, maximum heat for some time and then uh, let cool for a um, same kind of time and then at that certain time there are some pathogens can kill in that uh, uh, milk and same thing with coriander you know coriander um, you know in ayurvedically is a very good medicine we use for 
million years for the people and I have some uh, women come to us you know like long time how many times I don't know they have done the antibiotic and then this is whole your infection and then giving the coriander shita kashai you know like not a boiled one the more cool one we can make it and then they be they be fine with after few weeks later what's happening is we using that medicines you know the herbs natural ability to create some environment in the body to kill the pathogens and temperature to go down and same times it has the effect of diuretic diuretic mean it is induced the urine pass and that means by inducing the urination it is get rid of a lot of heat and the bacteria and viruses and some pathogens out of the body how incredible this the coriander is it's widely used in the planet and then simply what you have to do is take me a little bit time for yourself when you feel a cold or a flu or a little bit um, discomfort sit down and think what happened to me and what is the cause of this and what did I eat how I behave and without answering that question having a two paracetamol doesn't fix your body it's damage it is breaking your natural indicators in the body please think the other way otherwise we all going to face up to this one because there is no way we can kill the bacteria and the kill the virus thinking we have to be the only surviving creatures in the planet it doesn't work we have to live with a natural way taking some natural substances in your outside you have and you know simple step before you going to go to the big pharmaceutical drugs and think about to change your lifestyle change your attitude change your um, uh, uh, the behavior and taking uh, precautions and uh, having some exercises and take your life to your hand don't give your life to the this bloody pharmaceutical industry it will kill you